Welcome back my friends. Welcome to another JSPN Sarblade beginner to advanced tutorial. In this video, we will learn more about JSP syntax or tag. In the introduction video, I told you that JSP is a tag based language. In this video, we learn using JSP tag or syntax how we can write Java code in the JSP page. Let's begin the video. If you are new in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get notification once I upload next video. In JSP, there are mostly used five common JSP tags or syntax. Here you can see a table I already written down about uh, five syntax or tags. I will give you little description or brief in, brief introduction about those syntax and then i will show you how to use those syntax in jsp page and write java code first one is scriptlet tags it's start with angle bracket percentage scriptlet tag allows you to write java code inside jsp page more than one lines of I mean using scriptlet tags you can write multiple lines of Java code second one is JSP expression tag it's start with angle percent equal sign expression tag is used to print out Java language expression that it put between the tags and expression tag holds any Java language expression that can be used an argument in the out dot print method third one is declaration tag it's start with angle percent exclamation mark and it's used for declare java variable or method and fourth one is directive tag it's start with angle percent at sign it's used to for declare as like as global variable that affect the whole jsp page in directive tags uh, there are uh, three types of tags First one is paste tag, include tag, and tag lib tag, tag. In next video, I will give you brief introduction about those tags. And the fifth one is comment tag. It's usually uh, used for make a comment in JSP page. This comment tag only show in JSP page and ignored by the browser. Okay. Uh, let's uh, open our NetBeans ID and uh, create a new project and let's see how we can implement scriptlet tags and expression tag. Okay, all right friends, I already opened my NetBeans ID and then I will create a new project. So click on this folder icon, then select Java web, then web application, click on next and here write in your project name so i'm giving jsp syntax okay then here is the location jsp tutorial tutorial exercise then click on next and here apache tomcat server i already selected my apache tomcat server and the java e version enterprise edition version i am using 7 you can check which one you would like to prefer so i i would like to prefer the latest one so i will use java e7 and here is the context path and then click on next and here it will ask you for frameworks so this is the simple jsp program so we don't use any framework just click on finish it will take few moments to creating your project Okay, you can check out that uh, our project has been created and here it's automatically created a index.html page. Just expand your project and expand your web pages. At first, uh, at the web in folder, we will create a web.xml file. So just go on other and uh, you can see standard deployment descriptor. Also, you can search from here. So click on next click on finish 
okay or we have the xml file has been deployed we don't need to do anything next video i will show you uh, more about web.xml file and its functionality of why we should use web.xml file okay so in this video i just uh, pause this one and uh, delete this index.html page because we are working for gsp so just right click web pages and click on new and then um, create gsp page and here um, give it any name so i am giving it to index dot index dot okay index just write down index it will give the extension automatically so just click on finish so here our simple index page has been created just let me run this project so see choose browser okay you can see that it's giving us a hello world uh, text so that means our project has been deployed successfully so now we'll check out our scriptlet tag so how we can use scriptlet tag in this project so i'll cut it and in last video i already told you something about http HTTP headers, HTTP response, and HTTP request. So let's see how we can access those HTTP headers first. So let me start the expression tag and um, first of all, let uh, check us uh, user agent. In last video, maybe I already shown, maybe I don't think so. And remember that. And um, uh, if you read that documents, there is one HTTP function that is called HTTP header. And uh, in HTTP header, there is one function is user agent. What, what is user agent? User agent gives us the information about the client we are using. I mean, the browser we are using. So let me say out dot out dot print and here the object mm, user agent user user agent class and there is a method is request are we giving you yes request dot and when i am pressing on dot just okay when i am pressing on dot you can see i am getting a lot of suggestions so from here you can choose what you need so here is the option is uh, get in int header but uh, we don't need in header we need uh, HTTP header. I don't think so. I have a, let me write down it here. Dot get header. So this is the header, and here uh, write user agent. User agent. So let me save it and go to our browser and refresh it. Okay, you can see that uh, user agent is. We are using now Firefox and or when I'm using Windows and Windows 64. Okay, let's open it to another browser. Okay, let me go back to my Chrome, just a new tab and paste it here. So you can see that our Windows is 10, it's okay, no problem. But now here we got the version Chrome. The browser client is Chrome and another here in Firefox we get the client for firefox okay in header we have another option is um, we got cookie so let's see our cookie so just click on so user cookie user cookie save it and then refresh it then here we got our cookie for for this session we got our cookies and there is another header method is host where we host our web server i mean website 
So this is type on host. So user um, right away host. So we we host this project in our local host. So that then you will get uh, here the local host information. Just click on here so that you get the local host. And there is another maybe you can get here from the port. Maybe you will get port. Port. Click on save. They are getting now. That means it's error syntax. Okay, no problem. So let's uh, try something new. Request dot from here. Uh, you can get the context path. What is context path? Context path is our the location for the index page. So click on context path, save and run it again. So here you can see the context path has been saved in our project creation time when we created project on that time i already showed the context path so this is our project context path so i didn't change here the name okay no problem and here is another option is get uh, servlet path dot get servlet path okay then you can get session this is the index.jsp why it's telling us that this is the index.jsp because let's say right click on our project and view the servlet okay this index.jsp has been converted into a jsp servlet page then it's generate the html page i already told in previous video that uh, HTTP servlet is used for generate uh, HTML page or uh, compile Java code. So here you can go down and uh, here you can see our HTML page. The servlet has been generated. So a meta title and in the body section, it's printing as the out dot print web host request dot get servlet path. Okay, so now uh, uh, check something something different. It's like uh, get uh, dot get a remote user or remote uh, remote address. Also remote host the host I already show shown to you. Okay, and this is my address local address. So something ugly, you know. And then now check something different. Just like uh, I have a variable integer um, i, i equal zero. Okay. Now uh, I want to show it in our page. So it's like a page. Uh, Page number or page number. Now use the JSP expression tag, scriptlet tag, sorry, and then out dot println out dot println plus i save it and uh, refresh your browser and we got a page number one so let me change it to five and refresh it we got our page number six because here we use plus plus so it will increment Okay, uh, that's uh, something basic about JSP scriptlet tag. So when we'll do real time project, on that time we'll show you more and more about uh, scriptlet tag. So just this is the initial uh, tutorial that uh, how to use JSP scriptlet tag. Uh, let's uh, take a look at for JSP expression tag. So uh, already shown you that how to you how to write JSP expression tag equals sign 
and this is our JSP expression tag. Okay, and in expression tag, uh, what we can do? Uh, let's uh, uh, print out today's date. Um, today's date. So I don't today's uh, date. Today's date. Java has uh, uh, function for showing the Java dot package util dot dot date. Okay, remember that. I think so. You can remember that. Okay, so we have to. Okay. Click on save new java dot uh, util dot sorry state that's the problem I typed missed okay. java dot day click on save as control s and refresh so today's date is monday may 11 and the date and this is the cst 2020 so that's how you can use java scriptlet tag so let me show you more about the scriptlet tag um, try to um, work for a for loop so here first of all we will use a expression tag okay so java scriptlet tag scriptlet tag start and end okay scriptlet tag start and end they write a for loop first of all a variable it is our i equal zero i less than okay five then i plus plus okay this is our basic for loop now, now we will see the number plus one. Uh, let me show you uh, something. Number number equal scriptlet tag i plus one. Okay. So this is our scriptlet tag, and now we have to close here because here is this this one is, is a html content so we can't use a html content in jsp tag so this is so that's why this is the end and this is the this is the starting and this is the end control s and go to your firefox and just refresh it so you can see number one number two number three number four number five so it's starting from 0, 0 plus 1, it's 1. Then it's increment to 1, then 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. So okay, let's refresh it. You can see number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. Uh, also, we can use uh, conditional statement here. Um, okay, write down a conditional statement. Uh, also, we can use mathematical scriptlet tag. Uh, okay, let's say five times five. Mathematical set and uh, and you can see it's twenty five. Also, we can use uh, boolean. A boolean is let's uh, say 24 four less than data. Okay, it's give us true. That means uh, 14 is less than 25. So we can change it to greater than. So we will get false. You can see, we get the false. So friends, uh, that's all for uh, today's video. Uh, in next video, I will show you about the directive and the declaration tag and the comment tag, how to use JSP comment tag. So see you in next.